the idea of vitrification comes from the problem of freeze living cells. Just to help you to understand the difference between vitrification and the slow freezing, which we, we have been using that method for almost 30 years. The difference is in a slow freezing method, you actually decrease the temperature 0 0.3 degrees per second. So to reach the temperature from body temperature, which is how we keep the cell alive at 37 degrees to the minus 190 degrees, it takes an hour and a half in the slow freezing technology. In the vitrification, you roll down 20,000 degrees within a second. So that's just tell the difference between the so-called, the traditional slow freezing method and the new technology called vitrification. Ice crystal is a big enemy to the living cells. So vitrification will reduce the temperature about 20,000 degrees per second. So in such a high speed, the water will not have the opportunity to become ice crystal, so minimize the damage to the living cells. Now what are the living cells? It's like red blood cells, lymph cells, of course including gametes, means sperm and eggs and embryos. Now why which is so important to minimize the ice crystal formation when we freeze eggs and sperm? because X is a large cell, that means they have 80% of the contents of their body are water. So that means they are more vulnerable to the ice crystal formation.